Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Akeem Lewanson, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, we've got some new Sonic Movie 3 casting news, new images from the sequel to Todd Phillips' Joker movie, plus a whole lot more in today's Fix. <laughs> Joker Folly Adu, the sequel to 2019's Joker, is still on track to release October 4th. And to hold us over till then, director Todd Phillips took to Instagram to give us new looks at the clown prince and his new partner in crime. In the first photo, we have actor Joaquin Phoenix suited up with the infamous Joker makeup, pictured alongside Lady Gaga's version of Harley Quinn. Then in the next photo, we've got Arthur Fleck behind bars, presumably in Arkham Asylum, butting noses with Dr. Quinn. And finally, the two share an embrace on a rooftop in Gotham. Keep in mind, this movie is also supposed to be a musical, so this could be one of those scenes. Now, this particular photo gives me Fiddler on the Roof vibes, having never seen that musical, but knowing that there is, in fact, a Fiddler and a Roof involved somehow. Anyways, we've been teased with other looks from the movie by director Todd Phillips. Now, we got this image of Harley Quinn in full-on clown makeup, leaving no question that we'll see Harleen Quinzel fully transform into Harley Quinn as her mental state seemingly descends into madness due to the influence of Arthur Fleck, AKA the Joker. Now, in 2023, Todd Phillips previously shared a photo on Valentine's Day, much like he did this year, giving us our first glimpse of the psychotic couple, though in that one, she hadn't yet donned the clown makeup. Now, that was her as Dr. Harleen Quinzel with Todd sharing a more close image of her as Harley Quinn to celebrate the film's rap. Now, Joker fans might remember this photo of Harley Quinn walking down the court steps, likely at some sort of protest to possibly free Arthur Fleck from whatever legal troubles he might be dealing with. Now, the second image we got here to celebrate the film's wrap back in 2023 was of the Joker who appears to be seated in one of those gated penitentiary buses, possibly on his way to Arkham Asylum where he'll be issued the finest in convict clothing, probably black and white stripes. I doubt, you know, orange is really his color. Uh, anyway, between the first film and the images Todd Phillips has teased, we have some idea what this movie will look like, but few details are actually known about what audiences can expect from the plot of the film. Now, all we know is that it'll be a psychological thriller with musical elements thrown in for a good measure. How they'll play that out somehow? I have no idea. Now with Lady Gaga in the mix, it's no surprise there'll be musical elements throughout the film. Definitely a different take from, you know, what we've gotten in the past pertaining to Harley Quinn as we've only gotten Margot Robbie's take on the DC villain on the big screen. Now to note, Margot Robbie has expressed publicly her support for Gaga in the role. As for the type of Harley Quinn we'll see in the film, it definitely seems as though Phyllis might be going for a take on the character somewhat similar to DC Black Label's Harleen comic run, which explores Harley Quinn's past before her transformation. Now, that particular story dives deeper into how her abusive past affected her and how the Joker was able to manipulate her. Now, I am definitely excited to see a different take on Harley Quinn that doesn't necessarily have that signature accent we've heard for many years now, stemming from Arlene Sorkin's portrayal of the character in the Mad Love episode of Batman the Animated Series. Now, since then, various voice actresses have taken on the role, adding subtle nuances to make it their own, but usually sticking pretty close to the original. Now, we'll see what Lady Gaga gives us in Joker Folly Adu. Now, to note, the movie will be part of the new DC Elseworlds set of films, which exist outside the scope of the mainline DCU movies James Gunn and Peter Safran have planned. Now, in other news, jumping over to Marvel, we got our first look at X-Men 97, and honestly, it looks freaking awesome. The Mutants will return March 20th, and it picks up right where the original animated series left off when the final episode aired almost 27 years ago. Now, Professor Xavier is dead, his soul hanging out with Lalandra somewhere in space, with Magneto now taking over as the leader of the X-Men. Now, that's something they'll definitely have to explain when the series kicks off, as well as giving us an explanation as to how Gambit convinced Wolverine to let him ride on his back. 
Uh, from the looks of it, Gambit's using his powers to charge Wolverine's claws with kinetic energy, creating a mutant circuit. Now, this is a fairly recent idea from the comics where multiple mutants combine their powers in creative ways. Now, I somehow have an easier idea accepting the made-up science behind that than the idea that Wolverine just agreed to giving Gambit a piggyback. Anyways, all will be revealed when X-Men 97 hits Disney Plus March 20th. Now next up, we have casting confirmation for Sonic 3, something most fans pretty much assumed, but now we know for sure. Child actor Ayla Brown posted this image to Instagram confirming her role as Maria in Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Uh, she kept herself wrapped up, presumably because, you know, she's in Maria's outfit, or this is a precursor to the body bag she'll more than likely find herself in. R.I.P. Maria. Now, for the uninitiated, Maria is Dr. Robotnik's cousin, first seen in Sonic Adventure 2. Now, her grandfather, Gerald Robotnik, created Shadow to save her from her terminal illness. Now, both Maria and Shadow became the bestest of friends before she got clipped, sending Shadow down the dark path that we all know and love. Now, I think I speak for the majority of Sonic fans when I say this movie really is gonna slap. Like, they're leaning into the Sonic Adventure lore, it seems, which is freaking awesome. And we'll see even more when it drops December 20th. And finally, we've got FanFest cooking up very soon here on IGN, officially kicking off February 19th and the live stream happening on the 24th and the 25th. Now, here's more info on what you can expect. IGN FanFest 2024. Welcome to FanFest. Thank you, good to be here. Everybody ready? Thank you for having us. Oh, absolutely. Join us for exclusive new looks at some of the coolest pop culture properties on the planet. Dune 2. The sequence where Paul rides the sandworm. Just extraordinary, couldn't have been done on green screen. The Walking Dead. I just found out that he's alive. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Yeah, we're ready. Street Fighter 6. Brawlhalla. Godzilla Kong. WWE 2K24. My story's full of ass whooping. Abbott Elementary. Yeah, trying out cursing. And because this is Fan Fest, we're asking the best questions that only you. We've got another fan question. Could ever dream of. Who is your favorite co-star to play off of? Yeah, in the why world? are you trying to start well, a fight? Fan Fest 2024 kicks off February 19th right here on IGN. Nice try, IGN. And that's it from us here. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.